Hey guys, Brickmaster X here. Today I'm with Star Killer. Go ahead and say hi. Hello. All right, right here. Cool. So this is our server. Before I do that test jump there, um, we pretty much took the survival games map. A lot of people like this, and not that many people have actually played on it with other players. So we pretty much took the idea of making it a zombie server. It's an amazing map. All credit to the original owner. All right. So what I'm gonna do here. We're just playing it legitimately, just so we can test out the thing in one night. And uh, we should have the main server up shortly. And we'll definitely be doing some update videos. So, alright. Alright, I'm going to test the uh, hole. See if this works. Ugh. Pretty much right below us uh, is oh, a pond of water. I missed. <laughs> okay, here it goes. I missed. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Oh no no! Oh, uh, I don't have far render distance, so I couldn't really saw that. Okay, I'm just gonna stop. Okay, that was kind of weird. I'm just gonna put my armor back on, pretend like nothing even happened. I landed on this tree here. I didn't even land in the water. The water's like really far away from the building. Yeah, same here. I'm gonna move the tree back. too much of that. Yeah. Just I'm gonna, just gonna fly just directly to up from the pond. I'm not even gonna start from the building. I'm just gonna be straight from the pond and see if the see if the ice gets saved from the fall at least. Because if that happens then we don't even have to worry about jumping into it. Alright, so I'm flying all the way over here. This is where it's at. Alright, here goes. <laughs> oh I made it. Sick. I made it. Nice, that was really oh, yeah. high up. Hi. So if you can just manage to jump in that pond, you're safe. All right, back to back to survival. All right, let's just yeah go around and do stuff. So we pretty much made it so all the chests that are inside the world or in the city, you can actually open it up as a non-operator. And you just pretty much, I like the idea of just scavenging, you know, you find a chest, so you take the stuff in it, just to like loot and stuff like that. You can have like group looting and stuff like that. I think that'd be kind of cool. Good idea. So anyways, we're going to randomly fill the chest up every now and then. With different types of items. So we've got those. Uh -oh. Kind of a good idea. It'd be kind of fun. Oh my god, there's a creeper there somewhere. Alright, let's get some higher ground here. I don't know what happens if I press that button. I'm just gonna press it. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm hearing some explosion. I hope that was from the creeper and not some team which I'm not. Which I'm sure it was. Yeah, that was me. Okay. This place is pretty cool, Shad. Bigger render distance. It's kind of cool. I really like how they did this. It's really, really detailed. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff, and all stuff. Which is great. All right. Well, this is going to be our server. If you guys like to support us, go ahead and check us out on our website. And feel free to make a comment or. A nice donation. So I'm just gonna go back to the spawn, give a quick tour of everything. So the world highly... is also the that? world is also PvP, so you can have gangs, guilds, and all those fun different types of things. Actually, we did take out PvP with this one. It didn't really seem to work out so well. Oh this yeah, yeah. Be PvP instead of spawn and whatnot. So, anyways. It's just going to be an open open survival without having to worry about some guy just coming up to you and killing you and taking all your diamonds. Oh, right, so, even better. Yeah, exactly. So, we got really important signs. We highly recommend you check them out. I mean, a lot of people just walk past them, but these are really important stuff. About the giant zombies, about the chest, the button at the front of the spawn, which will save you a lot of time when you're dying. Um, stuff about donating, our ranks. Right here is our news bulletin. Stuff about the chest and whatnot. Here's the warps. Here's an emergency ladder. 
but you can just warp down, it would be a lot faster, but if you wanted to, you just use this, if you wanted to go back up, whatever. So this is their shops, this is their player owned shops, if you donate, you get a shop there. Completely protected, you can just hide your stuff there if you wanted to, just have it protected. Or you can buy and sell stuff there. Okay. Here's the official shop with all the armor and the weapons. Also down in there, you can leave this later. Food. You can have a miscellaneous stuff over there. Mob loops, you can buy and sell them there. The nether portal. and portal here. So if it's open building though, you just do whatever you want in those two places there. I don't want to spoil this, but that's like a little Easter egg, I guess you could say, of Hero Vine. So it's pretty much our server so far. We haven't been working on it too much lately, but we got pretty much what we needed. If you guys like to support us, come check us out. And that's pretty much it for this video. We can show off some gameplay as well in a couple minutes. Quickly tell us what's a star here. So that's all you needed to know. That's fine. You can just go ahead and leave. But if not, we're just gonna be we're gonna be showing off. The... Come over here, start. Go back outside there. Okay, we're just gonna be doing some gameplay. Hey, so you wanted to teleport you to me? Yeah, we'll do. lagging here, but otherwise, that's pretty much it. We're going to be doing some gameplay here, just so you can get more or less feel of how the server's going to turn out being. For the people that used to be in Fairview, um, it'll probably bring back a couple of memories, but the map is a lot different, of course. It's a whole different map, and it'll be def definitely some different things. So I'm lagging here, so I'm just going to pretty much end the video if I can, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.